Okay, these are all the parts of the steam engine I made. Uh, it was a machine shop class. It took about three and a half days or so. Um, I'll go through and explain the parts, and uh, then I'll put it together and demo it. Uh, first, these are the parts that we were given, and we did not have to machine. You've got a screw, uh, a nut. I use two nuts as lock nuts so that don't, they don't move. Uh, spring, a set screw, and there's a pin on the crankshaft that we also uh, were given. Okay, this is the base. It's really simple. Uh, this is the piston housing. Put the piston in here. Uh, this is the intake and exhaust on that. This is the piston itself. It's just a drill rod that's been machined. Uh, this is just a, a holder to, uh, to actually hold the piston uh, housing to the body with the correct pressure given by the spring. Um, this is the flywheel and this is the crankshaft. This has been press fit. Uh, the only problem is this little pin. I reamed it out to a undersized uh, with, or with an undersized reamer and then tried to press fit it however it was still too large so I used some Loctite to uh, keep it in there but uh, you can see here's some mess ups that I had this is a flywheel with uh, uh, a little area that's way too small and this is a piston housing that was actually ten thousandths too deep and that makes a big difference so anyway I'm going to go ahead and assemble this and then I'll demo it uh, first I'll put the body on. And on the body, uh, I'll explain some of the parts here. Uh, you have an intake port and an exhaust port. Here's where I will be blowing the air. It will come out of this hole and uh, go into the piston body when the piston body will come down and the exhaust will come out this hole which goes straight through the back. Now these holes are actually um, bridged here because I had lined it up and someone asked me a question and distracted me and I came back and I forgot to uh, make my measurements to the left or to the right and so when I drilled the uh, I started to drill the hole and so now they're bridged but it still works okay so there's the body um, I'm going to screw in this little pin here which like I, as I said before it kind of holds the uh, holds the piston body to the uh, the actual body and then I'm going to put in the crankshaft and put on the flywheel this is where I use the set screw I'm going to have to tighten this uh, a good bit because I don't have like a flat spot on the crank for the flywheel so this actually comes loose from time to time uh, it's not a big problem so here's the piston body I'm going to go ahead and insert the piston and try to mount that. Let's see here. Now this is always a tricky part. And this should be a slip fit, however, when I was machining the uh, threads on this rod here, uh, it came loose in the lathe. It shouldn't have so I retightened it. So it's got some uh, pretty nice, pretty deep gouges in the shaft, but that doesn't affect anything because the spring actually takes up that space. So I'm going to tighten this set screw here, or tighten this uh, lock nut, basically. And uh, there we go. Now here, um, I've been using uh, some compressed air. I got this uh, little air duster and it uses 16 gram CO2 tanks well you can't get those as cheaply as you can get the 12 gram tanks so I've been and you can see there's a very slight difference there <laughs> but uh, so I've uh, got a whole bunch of these you know paintball ones for, for like there's like 15 in there for like 10 bucks maybe and I've modified this slightly by putting a piece of cork in the bottom and it seems to work fairly well. So here's the demo. I'm going to put this, which I've, uh, I have, you can't really see that. Um, I have uh, kind of thinned the end of the straw out just enough so that it will fit right here in the intake port. And I'll turn it on if I can here. Wait.
tight enough. Let's try that again. Need to loosen one of these screws, tighten the other. We'll see if that does it. There we go. Now again, uh, we're using the paintball air. It actually has a lubricant inside. And so it smells bad, but it's actually lubricating the, uh, the engine. So let's try again. And with that, my air is completely gone. I've uh, been using that one a little bit anyway. But uh, anyway, so that's it.